you are watching electrical engineering lectures channel for more videos please do like subscribe and hit the bell icon for the latest notifications hi viewers welcome to our youtube channel electrical lectures this video tutorial is a new addition in our latex series of tutorials in this particular video i will be telling you how to place or import different kinds of figures in your latex document as in case of mathematical equations, tables and references, LaTeX offers a variety of methods to import and place your figure in the LaTeX document and at the same time you can also control its placement, size and other options. And you can also import and place almost all kinds of image extensions including JPEG, PNG, bitmap, EPS and other formats and you can also place your figures in PDF file also. The first thing that you should keep in mind is that you should place all your images or figures in any format in your working directory. Here my working directory is this and I have placed my test image with name test underscore image here in the working directory. Now let's go towards the code. So this is the basic document structure whenever you are going to place figure you need to use the package graphics and inside begin document and end document you need to use the figure environment which includes begin figure and end figure inside this begin and end figure you need to write the command include graphics and inside curly braces you will write the name of the file. In my case, it is test underscore image dot jpg. You need to write this extension of the file over here. So just writing this command will produce this image in your latex document. So if I run this code, I can see here that this test underscore image is placed here in this document. Now, this is the simplest method to place your figure in latex document. Now, if you want to change the size of this image, you need to control by writing this particular command in square brackets, width is equal to, for example, if I want to scale it by 50% of the text width, then I will write here 0.5 backslash text width. Now it will scale the image 50%. You can see now the image size is reduced to 50%. Now if I want to change the position of this figure, if I want to place it in the center of the page, then I will use begin center and after include graphics, I will write end center. Like this. Now you can see that the same image file is placed in the center of the page. Now mostly we want to write the caption of the figure also. To write this after end center command you will write backslash caption and inside curly braces you will write the caption. This is my first figure. You see, this is figure number one. Latex has automatically numbered it as figure one, and the caption is This is my first figure. Now you can also control the placement of this figure on the page as well. So by writing this command after begin figure T for top, so it will forcefully place the image uh, on the top of the page. then you can see that the figure has been placed on the top of the page. Similarly, if you want to place the figure at the bottom of the page forcefully, then you should write B instead of T over here, B for bottom. And if I run this document, and you can see that the same figure is now placed at the bottom of the page. And if you do not write anything here, like you do not write T or B over here, 
then latex will automatically place the figure at the optimum place where the, it has been cited in the text in some cases you want to place multiple figures under single caption as a b c etc for this you need to use another package denoted by sub figure so we will write here as use package sub figure and you need to change the style of the coding a little more and include multiple figures in the same environment for example i want to place the same image as two separate images in my latex document to use this i will write here sub figure and place a curly bracket and close this sub figure here so this is my first sub figure and for the second sub figure i am going to copy the same thing and write here so basically i am using the same test underscore image in both the sub figures now under the single caption this is my first figure you will see both these images as two separate sub images so now you see these are two figures under the single caption now if you want to add sub caption also for each of these sub figures you can also do this by simply writing the caption of the particular sub figure in square brackets over here for example i write here first so this first is the caption of the first sub figure and second is the caption of the second figure so now you can see that this is the first sub figure and its caption is first and this is the second one the caption is second and this is the major or main caption of the overall figure so this was a very brief and concise tutorial on how to add or place or import figures in your latex document thank you for watching this tutorial stay tuned to our channel electrical lectures